Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Let's talk about Python decorators. Let me go ahead and create a new notebook here. Say rename Python decorators decorators and I am talking about the version 3.7. So let us rename this. Okay, so Python decorators 3.7 so what is uh, a decorator a decorator usually modifies the code of another function so let's learn by an example define frame function then what will it do? Adds a frame to the name. Here, let's say you bought a picture and you want to add a frame to it. This will do that. Yep. Define wrapper print then the run the function. Finally, run the child function, that is wrapper, return the child function, not run, okay. We will see why, why we are running and why we are returning. Okay, so this is the main function, frame. Frame is a function, the function will take another function as an argument and that function uh, will be run in between these two print statements. So, so this whole function has got another child function. And that child function takes the argument function, you know, it's running here. Ultimately at the end, we are returning, this parent function is returning this child wrapper function. Let's see what it does. Define picture, I'm defining one more picture here. I will say print Batman. So if I do this, it prints Batman. But if I take this and do at the name of the function is frame. Do frame here. Shift enter. Then run this function. There you go. What did it do? It added this frame so it is running this picture function at the context of this frame function so you are passing this picture itself right uh, the output of this right here so this entire pictures output is being run here okay so let's do another one import time define timer function I think this is a bit more practical one our real world use case time taken to execute cute a function define wrapper t1 is time dot time then it runs a function after running the function I will calculate the time again right so then I will do this time it took to run the function is str t2 minus t1 yep then let me return the wrapper function okay so at timer or let me first run uh, function 
without it. Define adder and n equals zero. Yeah. For num in range. Okay, there are six nines there. N equals n plus equals num. Now let me do this for the sake of clarity for you guys. N equals n plus m. Print n. Here we go. Because I do sometimes get confused with that long. N plus equals m. Okay, so now what do you think will happen if I do this adder? Okay, so it just calculated the, uh, the sum of all the numbers between from zero till 999999 that is 9,99,999 what if I want to calculate the amount of time it took to do that calculation let me do this I will say at timer Shift enter, then I will run that function. Add a time it took to run the function, point one zero zero blah 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 blah, right? Now let us go ahead and uh, define our decorators. Code modifying code is called as meta uh, programming. So this is true in the case of decorators, where it modifies the code of another code. Let us see how we can handle parameters with decorators. Okay, so right now we saw defining a function and uh, running that function in context of another function. So that is, we have a decorator function here, and I decorated this adder function with my decorator and it ran the adder function you know, in the context of timer. Now, what if I want to pass some arguments along with this whole thing? So let's see how we can do that. Yeah, define adder, a comma b, return a plus b. <clears throat> I hope there is no confusion there. So I define a small function, it takes two arguments and it returns the sum of both of them, return a plus b. Then do adder two comma two and both are integers. Okay, so it will return you know, the sum of it. But what if I do this, adder two comma String to it says unsupported operand type for plus integer and string. So one is an integer, one is a string, and that will not work. So let us define a function here. Define int check. Then I will say func. Then I will say define inner a comma b. If type b not equals to int r let me take this here copy paste i will do a here a so what i'm saying is if any one of them is not integer then you do this return return nothing return what return nothing means return nothing right then what I want to do is I want to do return func a comma b that is you run this function right here a comma b and then return inner okay so 
shift enter. Now let me define my function int check here. Define adder a comma b return a plus b. So if I do adder two comma two, it says four. If I say adder two comma two, it did not throw an error. So what if I want to throw some error? Okay, also let me do one more thing is none. Okay, first let me put some comments here. Returns, none, and no errors. Right, there you go. So this actually returned none, no errors. So when the given inputs are not integers, it does nothing. There are various uh, ways you can handle this. Uh, we will look at um, raise and assert as well. The other two ways of doing it. Here we go. Okay, so let me copy paste this one here. Uh, with some exception and everything done here. Right, there you go. So define integer check function, uh, the same as in a function here, right? So till here, it's the same. But after that, if you see, I have done raise exception. That means instead of returning none, I am raising an exception, exception f. Uh, inputs should be of type int. Makes sense, right? Then the rest of the stuff is same. So shift enter. What I will do here is adder two comma two, adder two, two. What happened? It says inputs should be of type int. Makes sense. So how do we use assertion now? Define int check function, then define inner a comma b. I have assert type a int. I have assert type b int return function a b return inner. Yeah. So let's refine redefine our add a function here like this. Yeah. Then if I say adder two comma two, it says works. Adder two two it fails. What does it say? Assertion error. So here what I'm uh, telling uh, Python is make sure the type A is integer or uh, make sure that the type of B, uh, the type of data of B is int. So when it is not, it is going to throw an error assertion, assertion error. Also, you can do one more thing. You can add some complimentary message saying F, say F, you do A is not an integer. And you can check this, control C, control V, B, yeah, do this. And then let me also take this here. Let me do that whole thing here, yeah. So adder two comma two works, adder two, integer two, and string two, two is not an integer. The message what I had, the custom message what I had put here, that is the error message that you get. It's the type of error is a session error. The error message is what I gave the error message to be here. So apart from that, what if you want to pass on some arguments? So let's take another one here, define int check func as in function 
it will do define inner and I will star args arguments for a in args that is arguments assert type a int and if not I want to do this is not an integer yep right so then you go return func star args yeah return inner at int check define adder star args sum zero for i in args sum plus equals i return sum so this function what it's supposed to do is i am going to give a bunch of arguments to it right uh, probably a range of numbers one two three four five right so what it's supposed to do is it will go ahead and add all of them and return the sum but what if one of the argument is not an integer so that is where this particular sorry about that uh, integer check function comes in where by just putting it as a decorator it will check all the arguments i mean make sure it all these arguments right are passed on to this my dear lovely function and that will go ahead and know and run this whole thing right uh, it will do an assertion check for all of the arguments and check whether they are of in type integer if not you will get this error message okay so how do we test this let's do adder two two nine thirteen right two plus two is four four plus nine is thirteen i think then let me do this two yeah here we go two is not an integer what if i do put this one to this two here instead of end i'll put it in the middle and see whether it makes a difference nope two is not an integer okay so let us talk about function decorators with arguments now function decorators with arguments here we go okay so define decorator an argument so now our decorator takes arguments define real decorator function yeah and then the define wrapper star args star star k w a r g s and um, then do result equals function star args star star k w r g s enter and then result is star equal argument basically this means result equals result star argument okay so yeah and then i will say return result return wrapper return real decorator so this is how you actually give arguments to the decorator it's a bit confusing uh, but when you get a use case scenario you will understand this is one right also you can do this okay uh, define decorator argument mm, define real decorator i'm typing all this i could copy paste this but i just want you to get some breather time in between and try to process this through making short video is not my goal function star args 
star star kwrgs and and then do result star equals argument okay here function arg okay i think i got carried away here define let me do this let me do one more here define wrapper and i will do star args right we're going to combine some assertion here assert type arg int f and then do arg is not an integer okay so then do result equals function star args result equals result star argument or star equals argument star equals arguments let's keep them same let me do some spacing here return result okay return wrapper return hmm real okay decorator somewhere defined wrapper then okay for arg in args yeah there we go okay so uh this is a decorator it takes some argument right then we have the real decorator so you cannot actually pass arguments to a decorator so we will create a fake decorator <clears throat> which passes the arguments to the like you know a function inside this real decorator so then we take this you know write the real decorator which actually takes function as an argument not the argument right then inside that real decorator we write our you know wrapper right and that wrapper takes the argument here i have given argument but here i'm saying saying dot star args that means a list of arguments because we want to give not we want to be prepared for more than one argument right so i could just say argument here but i want to use star args because we want to create a decorator which can take multiple arguments i hope that's clear okay so now let's do this decorator to all right i'm defining a function adder star args sum is zero for i in args sum plus equals i return sum yep so what happened adder two comma three so what really happened here two plus three is five and it's adding this two as well so decorator is giving an argument to the adder right and also it is taking uh, the arguments from the function and checking whether they are integers or not so let's go ahead and check that again and we will do hi here hi comma it will fail as expected here we go it says hi is not an integer my custom assertion message hi is not an integer i think that's all i had for decorators thank you for tuning in you have a great one take care now